city of love city of enchantment is that even a nickname for it no i'm pretty sure it's not but definitely definitely the city of style nike sb dunk low pro in the city of style colorway so here we have the nike sb in the football gray coconut milk colorway this is officially called the city of style specific colorway celebrates uh the culture the, the city of paris uh you know it's been pretty commonly known that the city of paris is a, a, a hotbed for fashion um and that's you know kind of what they were trying to do with the story for this specific shoe the main thing about this shoe which is very interesting we'll get a little bit more in the detail is that it both celebrates the city of paris you know in its style and all that but it also kind of celebrates skating obviously it's an sb shoe you would want for an sb shoe to celebrate skating but this one does it in a very particular way and i'll go into detail as to how it does it first in the unboxing it comes in the classic nike sb box the purple one i was kind of expecting the multicolored one but uh it is what it is it's just something that i don't have in my collection and i always thought that the nike sb uh box in the uh multicolored uh iteration is probably the best one out of all of them nothing much to the box nike sb box pretty much it let's get into it you got this wood pattern sort of paper here uh, in a green but besides that not much to the box but we do have here the nike sb city of style this shoe i was not very convinced about I, it was an impulse buy i got first access to it i'm not gonna lie and i just swiped i scratched nike the sneakers released this by the the scratch method if you don't know what it is usually you get access to an exclusive pair and you have to kind of like scratch the screen to reveal the shoe and then you get access to order the shoe um, i was lucky enough to hit on these and it, it was impulsive because i actually bought these while i was waiting for my shower to heat up i was in the, it was in the morning i was ready uh, getting ready for work and i just said might as well just try for it and i hit um, and I didn't like the pictures of it. I just thought it was a really cool concept because especially underneath this whole canvas material in the upper is actually red suede underneath. I'll put up a picture of how it looks once, you know, you kind of tear it away at the, at the canvas. Um, you see a red suede material all across all the panels of the shoe. That's what I meant when they say they celebrate both Paris and skateboarding in, the, in it, that you can only actually access the true color of the shoe if you skate on it and you tear away at the material. There's other ways to get around it. Obviously you can get an X-Acto knife and uh, carve this out, but um, I think the coolest part of Nike SB, specifically this shoe, is that you can tear it away the more you skate in these shoes. But yeah, overall, I, now that I have them in hand, these are a really, really nice shoe, man. These, you know, it is a little bit more premium. You got this sort of a thick outlining in, in the sides uh, of every of every panel, you know, where the stitching usually goes in, in this sort of uh, metallic gold. Um, and it really makes the shoe pop in very, very nice ways. But let me take out the other shoe and then I'll go more bit into the details of the actual shoe. Oh, and I actually got a Nike SB sticker. That's cool. Also, please ignore the background. It's a little empty. There's boxes all around because I am moving in like a couple of weeks uh, from today. So the first thing that I always pack is my office because it's always the first thing I want to move because I have a lot of shoes and I got some heat, man. And I don't want the movers touching the heat. I don't trust people, Not nothing against movers, but I just don't trust people. So all this stuff in the background is gonna go in boxes that I'll personally move from this house to the next place. So yeah, that's why it looks a little crazy. Forget about it. Let me go ahead and get you a closer look of these shoes. So here we have the City of Style Nike SB. The upper, you see a lot of drawings, a lot of uh, uh, landmarks of uh, reminiscent of Paris, the city, the city of style. It really gives me those kind of like Versailles sort of looks. You know, it kind of you know reminds me of a tapestry. Um, it just reminds me so much of a very, I want to say like old school traditional site of Paris, not so much like a modern Paris, but more so like um 1930s 1940s it bring, brings me thoughts of uh 
uh, the World's Fair sort of thing, sort of vibe, you know, when they unveiled the Eiffel Tower uh, back in the day. If you don't know, you know, the history of how the Eiffel Tower was built, um, when it was revealed, I suggest you look it up because it's, it's really cool. It's, it's a cool part of history. And yeah, it kind of gives me that vibe, even though you also have some like urban street elements to it here with the uh, graffiti that you can kind of see here. Not, not very well because um, the pattern is kind of like random. It, it's not the same on both shoes, um, as you can tell, especially in the swooshes, you can see like one has less of uh, drawings on them, the other one does. Um, so it's kind of like a toss up <laughs> trying to decipher what these uh, some of these designs are. But you got like uh, some nature stuff in there, some trees, you got some buildings, uh, you got the sphere with the Nike logo on it. Uh, you got the subway, the metro, obviously. Um, so, yeah, just a, a lot of things that are reminiscent of Paris. If you've ever been to Paris, you kind of uh, pick on those themes really quickly. Uh, besides that, you know, it's pretty much a straightforward shoe. Like I already said, uh, the panels are kind of edged out by this sort of uh, material. It's, I mean, it's basically fabric, but um, it gives you kind of like that luxurious feel to it. It, it really, uh, I really do like contrast stitching. Um, even though it's not more like contrast, it's just like, it's like the edges. Like it's something that you would see like at the edge of a, you know, tapestry or like a, a mantle or something. So um, it's really cool, really, really nice. The thing that I do not like about this shoe though, are the laces. I know I can change the laces out, but I think like some white laces or, or some other kind of laces that, um, you know, even even like this sort of light as well, something that contrasts a little better with the overall uh, look of the shoe would be way better because even the under, the suede underneath, uh, the red suede doesn't really, it really clashes a lot with this sort of like brownish sort of burnt gold uh, sort of a, uh, color on the laces so i feel like they could have done way better with with picking something else for as, as far as the laces again it's a removable thing so it really doesn't matter to be honest you got the sock liner and this sort of light blue as well and yeah as far as the outsole you know classic dunks uh dunky dunky <laughs> dunky dunk sb outsole here in the bottom and you got the same sort of like gold bronze sort of a uh, uh metallic paint here in the bottom um, but yeah besides that i think this is a really nice nike sb shoe if i still skated i would definitely wear these out i think it adds to the story of the shoe i think it makes them look way cooler the more beat up they are um, but i'm definitely gonna keep these i thought i was gonna i thought i wasn't gonna like them once i got them in hand but now that i have them in hand they're such a cool looking uh dunk i'm not the biggest fan of dunks um, but there are some of the more dynamic and easier to style uh, silhouette from Nike, to be honest. Like, it's a very traditional, classic look. And this specific one is definitely going to turn heads. I already told my fiance that I might wear these for our wedding because of how cool they are. Um, it kind of matches with my, uh, my, my suit, my tuxedo that I bought. Um, and it might just really look really nice, you know, so I don't know. It's still up in the air. So I don't know. And also with the suede underneath it kind of like, you know, the color of love red, um, I think is a really nice touch and it might add some really cool, nice, a nice story <laughs> to our, to our wedding. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these on feet and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the Nike SB city of style. Overall, you know, it fits pretty much like almost any other SB. The only SBs I can really compare them to is to some old uh, Nike SB uh, highs uh, in the Spectrum colorway. And, you know, famously Nike SBs, especially the Dunks, they're way more comfortable than regular Dunks. It has to do more with the padding, thick tongue, and more of the formation, you know. Um, you need to really sturdy and strong shoes when it comes to skating, um, you know, the traction, you know, is pretty much the same as the other dunks, you know. There's a reason why a lot of old school basketball shoes are still used by a lot of skateboarders because the traction is always amazing, especially for skateboarding. Uh, but overall, I mean, it fits like a dunk, to be honest. I got these in a size nine, I believe. No, I got these in an eight and a half, which is true to size. 
they fit a little snug because of the padding i could have probably went with a nine um pretty much how i do it with uh, performance basketball shoes as well so uh yeah i definitely recommend you at least half size of half size up on these man but overall i really dig this shoe i really think that nike really told a cool story with these especially you know it being both you know a city of style you got paris fashion week you got a lot of top designer brands based out of paris um and then having it underneath you know this really nice red suede kind of unveils you know that it's also paris is also the city of love you know it is a pretty romantic city it is commonly known for that and you know it's where a lot of people and go and romance themselves so um i think that's a really unique touch and definitely celebrates you know the 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 culture in paris and kind of ties it into skateboarding um overall i really dig this shoe man it's a really classy shoe uh the material is definitely going to make it last pretty long it might be a pain in the ass trying to clean the canvas on top of it i know canvas you know might stain a lot easier than leather or any other kind of material uh, but at the same time that's what this shoe is meant for this shoe is meant to be skated on destroyed and then actually revealing the true main material underneath it which is a red a red suede love this shoe love it love it so much just probably gonna have to do a lace swap on these but folks you let me know down in the comments below what you think of the nike dunk sb uh city of style uh colorway um do you like it um did you hit on it more importantly um and if not you know what other nike sb uh drops are you looking forward to i mostly you know dabble in jordans you know and if i ever buy any nikes i buy the performance basketball shoes um so nike sb is not something that i commonly buy i am i i used to skate i still got my skateboard i'm a baker skateboard um hilarious that it's also red so i'm gonna match with my shoes if i ever do skate in them but yeah nike sb is not a, a brand that i typically buy so um i'm always really cautious about the stuff that i buy because i do want to buy things that i am gonna wear um and even though dunks aren't necessarily my favorite silhouette from nike um they're still you know a very classic and something very easy to to style so i'm very excited with this pickup i can't wait to really style them out uh but yeah let me know down in the comments below what you think of the nike sb city of style colorway but folks i've been true fernie this has been shoe fernie if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs down because believe it or not every single bit helps links to my social are down below please make sure to follow me on both ig tiktok and threads where i spend most of my waking hours and where i upload more of this short form uh sneaker content and where your support is greatly greatly appreciated but folks please take care of each other but most importantly take care of yourself and your tearaway shoes peace